Dog owners now on edge tonight. Take a look at these two French Bulldogs here, Uno and Cartier. They were violently stolen from their owner at gunpoint, and it almost happened to a second dog owner as well. Fox 5, Stephanie Ramirez joining us live in Southwest details, uh, Southwest DC, excuse me, with these frightening details. Steph. You know, it wasn't even dark out when this attack happened yesterday. It happened actually in the late morning. And in one of the cases, the suspect is described as a masked teen believed to be 14 to 17 years old. Now, today I did speak over the phone with the owner of one and a half year old Uno and five month old Cartier. That owner saying he and his wife are very upset, and very concerned for the health and safety of their dogs. And there's a concern this could happen again. Hey. DC police have a city camera nearby. They're asking everyone to keep a close eye out, not just for the stolen Frenchies, but also for this dark colored coupe and another image captured of a suspect running away. It's just really sad. And you can't walk your dog and just do something normal. The first attempted robbery happened a little before 10.30 yesterday morning. The dog owner told police she was first approached by M Street Southwest near the waterfront Greenland Metro Station. The suspect apparently asked to pet the dog. And when the owner moves on, going by the wharf near 7th and Main Southwest, that's when the victim says someone came from behind and tried to grab the dog leash. Police say others see this and start yelling at the suspect, who then drops the leash and runs away. Then minutes later, police get a call to the area behind Audi Field, V Street Southwest. Two guys pulled up, asking, you know, basically how, how much the dog is and all that stuff like that. Police say a car parks and two out of three people get out. One tries to make small talk and then demands Uno and Cartier be handed over, attacking the owner when he refuses. Police say a weapon was pulled on the owner and the suspect threatened to kill him. This neighbor knows the victims. I feel bad for the guy, right? Because like we know like, he was in the building over here and, and to us, like these are our kids. For someone dog to be just taken like that, that is not right, that's not okay. The Humane Rescue Alliance advises owners to have your dogs microchipped, update the contact information, make sure your dogs have collars and IDs, and also take clear photos of both your dog and you with your dog. They say that's going to be very important when it comes to filing a police report if an animal kidnapping happens. And they also say it's important to file some kind of theft report, not a lost animal report. And in the aftermath, they say to make sure to contact uh, the vet offices, the shelters, and put it out there on social media so people know what's going on. Police do believe the two incidents are connected. The owner of Uno and the other dog, Cartier, they just want their dogs back.